Hello, welcome to today's video. And kind of weird because we are walking. <laughs> Today we're going to pick up. Oh, let's go. I think this would be an epic journey. Yeah. Like, it's been a while since I rode the train. It's been like three years since I last. Like, imagine in two years, two years I've been only commuting like train and my works um, shuttle service for two years. Then after that, I got my first car. Then, yeah. The rest is history. Three years no commuting. Let's go. And after a minute of walking, here we are. Kiryu Station. This place empty, huh? Hey, let's go. Oh, yeah, ma. I mean, we can take that route, but this one's faster. Google said this is faster. After three years of pure driving, here I am riding the trains. Here we go. The train, choo choo. Ah, fuck the bad, the bad, I said, do not do it. Let's go. Huh? Oh. 
so I'll choose supposed to come This is my first time, our first time riding the bullet train. <laughs> I'm so excited. Are you excited? Damihara station. My god, that was a crazy trip. <laughs> I've never had that long train ride. I never experienced that long train ride. This is the craziest because you travel like 2 hours and 40 minutes just riding the train. But yeah, I think it was one of the nicest trip even though I didn't feel that comfortable yet but I'm happy to made it into one piece
Hello, future me here. Um, it's been a week since we got the car and um, we forgot to film a bunch of things because we are tired and many things happened that day. So yeah, so this is the continuation of the video. So let's go. So hey, I'll give you a little back story here. So uh, this was my trusty mountain bike. Um, when I first came here to Japan, of course, I don't have anything to, you know, ride on personally. So my big brother got me this trusty mountain bike that I used for work for almost two years. And uh, now I don't use it anymore because I, ha I have a car now. But this mountain bike took me to the place where I am right now. And I'm really proud that I own this one. And yeah, so this is my first car ever. It's a Suzuki Lapang PS. Um, this is a sports variant of the Suzuki Lapang, of course. And I really love this car. Well, it's kind of a love-hate relationship because, what can I say, it's an old car, so many parts have been you know, crusty and old. So it needs some love, but now it's in a all right state. And this is the car that started me um, for my passion. This car fueled my passion for cars, like um, tinkering and modifying. I really, really love this car. This is my trusty daily and super, super stoked. So, I've learned about this car when I was working here for like a year and a half and I saw this car cruising around somewhere near the train station and I fell in love with it because the shape of the car and how it looks looks like a retro mini like an old rover mini and uh, I really appreciate this car this is one of my dream cars as well so let's move on to the car review so this car is really really special to me um, this is my dream car that I really really wanted five years ago when I came here to Japan, um, I saw this certain car, it's a black car, it's a black sedan that um, was parked in front of the apartment that we used to live and I really don't know what it is at first but I searched for it and I really really got obsessed with the car before it became a JDM hype right now. This car feels like, you know, um, if you're a kid and you want a like a Lamborghini or a Ferrari, this is how it feels to me. And it's really, really special to me. And um, I'm super happy that my wife um, gave me the go signal to grab this car, grab this opportunity. And um, so last month, I did the trigger and there she is. Um, without further ado, my new car, well, technically an old car. You get it. My Laserdex 100, baby.
the plan for this car is to be um, a street car. I don't want to drift it. I don't want to destroy the car. I just want to drive it in the weekends. And um, maybe we can catch up some horsepower in the future. But I really want to do some cosmetic stuff to it. Like I want to change this bumper, aero, aero stuff. I want to change the mirrors as well because this one's broken. Like originally, I'm planning to get a black car because you know black cars are cooler. But the paint is hard to maintain. Study shows that black cars are prone to accidents, especially at night because you can't see them. And then I decided to get a white car because we already own a few neutral colored cars and I think white is cooler and of course I did get the white car because I'm inspired I'm inspired by Adam LZ's um, white chaser the 2JZ one I really 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 wanted this car for five freaking years I can't say that I jumped on the JZX hype because I'm always hyped for this basically hype on the internet course. For now that the prices are getting crazy, like you can get this car for 800,000 yen for a, not a good condition, but you can snag a really, really, really good condition for a 1 million and 200,000 yen. But now the car market is going really crazy. These cars sell for up to 4 million yen right now. And that's kind of sad because this is my dream car and I have to pay for such a really, really crazy amount. But still, I'm thankful that I got my dream car that I've wanted for Five years. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. We'll see you again next time. Peace.